is Kathleen McGee. Here she is. So it might surprise some of you guys to know that I walked here. <laughs> Trying to up my steps. Checked out my uh, little app to find out how many steps it took me to get here, and I was at zero. I know, it pissed me off until I realized that Jesus carried me here. So I'm fucking winning tonight. The Lord is on my side. <laughs> I'm also going to get drunk after this. I love getting drunk. I love blackout drink. You know, getting that blackout drunk, because then you can get some rest. He knows what I mean. <laughs> I, was, I got so drunk a couple weekends ago, I found out something about myself. I found out that tequila makes my clothes come off. Yeah, because I vomited all over them. <laughs> and my friends had to send me home early. Because I'm not in my 20s anymore. I can't puke and party. The dream is over, right? Now if I puke, I got to go home, put on a robe, call my mom. Ask her if I'm gonna be alone forever. She'll always say something as supportive, like, well, it seems that way, doesn't it, Kathleen? The way you choose to lead your life. My mom's a bitch. I recently bought my first pair of high-waisted jeans. I love them, they're so roomy. You can just tuck them under your tits and go. First time I put them on, I'm like, these are so comfortable. <laughs> then I checked out the label and I'd purchased Old Navy maternity pants. <laughs> Which was a low day for me. I returned them and told them I lost the baby. <laughs> Cause I'm broke, I don't wanna store credit. I want my cash back, <laughs> okay? I also started wearing Ugg boots this past winter, which I love because the first time I ever put on a pair of Ugg boots, I finally knew what it felt like to slide a dick into a pussy. Oh! 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 Oh my God, I forgave men for everything. Oh my God. It's the greatest feeling ever. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't wear socks with my boots. I just think it feels better, right? <laughs> and if something happens, not my problem. See you later, boots. <laughs> my favorite place to go on a date is the keg. That's a blowjob date. If you take me to the keg, let me get a steak, a loaded baked potato, and a shrimp cocktail. I'll blow you in the parking lot. Cause I'm a lady and I was raised right. I was at the keg with a dude. I said during the meal, I was like, hey, how about after this we go back to your place? And he said, how about after this we get a hotel room? I was like, uh, are you married? <laughs> and he said, no, I live with my mom. <laughs> I wish you were married. Uh, But I was horny, so I was like, yeah, let's get a hotel room, let's do this. I don't know if any girls in here tonight have ever checked into a hotel after midnight with no luggage. <laughs> you feel like a princess. <laughs> it's magical. We're checking in, she asks to see his ID. She looks at it and says, oh, do you live here in Vancouver? And he said, yeah. She looks at me and back at him and says, yeah, we don't rent hotel rooms to men with hookers. Right? She thought it was a hooker. That's awesome, oh my God. I never felt more beautiful in my life. She thought I was getting paid in cash money, not steak, because this was a big night for McGee. So ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a hooker. When I was eight, I saw a pretty woman. I asked my mom that year for Halloween if I could be a hooker. And she said, do you know what that is? I was like, yeah, she's a pretty girl that wears cool clothes and doesn't kiss on the lips. <laughs> that sounds fun. I got to be a kitty cat or something. But then later on when I found out what a hooker was, I was like, well, that doesn't seem so bad. So when I was in my 20s living in Edmonton, I was broke. I thought, you know what? 
I'm gonna go up to Fort McMurray, I'm gonna make my own oil money. <laughs> I told one of my girlfriends I wanted to go up and uh, be a call girl, and she was disgusted. She looked at me and she's like, oh my God, are you telling me that you wanna have sex with men that you don't like for money? I currently have sex with men that I don't like for free. <laughs> at this point, I'm a bad businesswoman. I am currently a non-for-profit. I would like to be a Fortune 500. <laughs> all my girlfriends are all married now. They have different lives than me. Like I'll go on Facebook and I don't have two cherub children that never cry. I don't have a husband that buys me flowers once a week. I don't have a portrait of my family wearing matching denim in an oak tree. <laughs> what have I fucking done with my life? But then I go and I visit my friends. I put one glass of wine in them. And they say, I just want my children to die in a house fire. <laughs> and I want my husband to go in after them and trip and fall and die as well because this is bullshit. <laughs> the only good part about being married is no more BJs. <laughs> How do you still get stuff? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then she said, joint checking account. And I was like, Phew. So now I'm on a mission. I'm looking for a joint, I mean a husband to love me forever. So I've set a new set of guidelines for myself. This area here is a palace. Only the most noble and wealthy are allowed inside. I'm not a perfect person. This will always be a homeless shelter. <laughs> but I'm a giver. Thank you guys so much. You are a fantastic crowd. Have a great night. <laughs> Kathleen McGee, keep it going for Kathleen McGee.